Time traveling has been an interesting yet controversial topic for decades. At some point in our lives, we have all wished to go back in time and change things. Let's say Sam wanted that too and invented a time machine. He goes a hundred years back to where his grandfather spent his childhood. Eventually, because of his arrival, Sam's grandfather gets killed. Let's take a look at what happens to Sam's family hierarchy. Now that Sam's grandfather is dead, he won't get married to Sam's grandmom. So one of Sam's parents won't be born. Then Sam will never be born. If Sam wasn't born, then he won't travel back in time and his grandfather won't get killed. So he will marry Sam's grandmom and then one of Sam's parents will be born. So Sam will be born to travel back in time. This is called Grandfather's Paradox. A confusing endless loop happens in backward time traveling. Let's consider another incident. You learn a new scientific theory in school which has been discovered by a famous scientist 50 years ago. You travel back in time and meet with the scientist before he made his discovery. Then you tell him about the theory you learned. Later. He publishes the theory and becomes world famous. He knew the theory because you told him. But you would never learn it in the first place if the scientist didn't discover it. So where is this information originally coming from? This is Bootstrap Paradox. Not confused enough? We'll consider another situation. Someone travels 60 years back and meets a beautiful woman who happens to be his mother in the future. They get married and have a baby. This baby will be growing into the man who travels back in time in the first place. Take a minute to think about this. The person's father is he himself. But where did he originally come from? What's the origin of his DNA? This is called predestination paradox. There is a common factor in all these paradoxes, something happened in the past is caused by the incident or a person in present. Therefore, the origin of the information or object has become unknown. Because of these paradoxes, most scientists believe backward time traveling can never be done. But some have come up with explanations for these paradoxes, which we'll be discussing about in another video. What do you think of backward time traveling? Would we ever be able to do it or not? Let us know in the comments below. If you enjoyed our video, consider subscribing us for more.